This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and I'm about to head out the house but saw an article posted by a friend of mine that just immediately caught my attention so I'm going to record this, go do what I have to do and then post this for you guys so you guys can see this because this is just ridiculous the way things are going now. So I'm sure a lot of you have been hip to the use of crowdfunding sites such as GoFundMe to finance different things a lot of us especially in the gaming community generally as associate stuff like that with developers who are trying to kickstart their projects try to get some money you know they'll use gofundme kickstarter uh what is the other one patreon i think is one um there's a couple of crowdfunding websites that a lot of these businesses not just gaming companies but a lot of businesses use to promote their product and get donations to try to develop it now one thing that's become a huge phenomenon a sad phenomenon of that at that is people are using these crowdfunding sites to finance different things now there's some cases where people are actually legitimately in need and they're doing stuff like they need funeral costs for someone who died medical expenses things like that but you get a lot of people who come on there and they tell sob stories like there'll be that one legitimate person who may be in financial struggle who put up their story in hopes that somebody gives them money for rent but you get a lot of people coming up with a lot of things because it's an easy way to pull on people's sympathies now the reason this is coming up is because Someone I know sent an article that was coming out of where I, the area I'm from, the D.C. area, where this local kid created a um, crowdfunding page on GoFundMe to raise $300. The reason he wanted to raise $300 was because his girlfriend of a year and a half decided to go to Miami for spring break, but didn't go with him. I guess he couldn't afford it she could so she was like well peace I'm going to Miami for spring break him being you know in love and of course fellas you know how we are especially when we're younger he's thinking my pretty girlfriend is going to Miami during spring break without me something he's probably thinking she's about to get smashed by like 40 dudes or something like that I you know that's how we think in situations like that be honest fellas so he creates this page so people can send him money so he could fly down there to be with her and he's you know posting messages about how love torn he is and things like that I'll put the <laughs> I'll put the link in the description because it's quite funny some of the stuff he posts like he has this thing like when your girl's in Miami and her phone's dead. It's this picture of like Michael Jackson. Jackson, I think it's from the um, a video of him doing the song Ben or something. But it's just like this really sad picture of Michael Jackson when he's young. And it's like, damn, dude, you really, really are <laughs> pushing this thing. And it's like, I'm not trying to be cynical, but I have to say it's hard to believe that this is a thing now where it's that easy to do things like this you know I'm not saying he's lying he could very well be like totally head over heels in love and destroyed and is doing like pulling out all the stops he can to get to see his girl you know and to stop whatever he thinks is gonna happen because let's be honest he is I, he probably don't want her to find somebody else down there. He's scared that something's going to pop off, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, but at the same time, it's just like... <sighs> the doors are open for people to do all types of nefarious things. And people are going to do nefarious things. We've seen people do nefarious things in other ways on the internet. I mean, recently, 
um, we just talked about this on the podcast. There was the YouTuber who was stealing people's content and creating review videos off of it. You know, people will do crazy things. They will take give you a sob story because they know that these things work. That people will donate. And the thing about the crowdfunding thing is that you're not guaranteed to get the results that you hope for out of it. There's been plenty of times where businesses have, you know, been financed and they get the money and they don't develop the product and your money's gone. This is even easier because there's really no product, no end result. They don't have to show you the receipt for whatever bills they're paying or anything like that. They don't have to show you um, proof that they paid their rent or that they have the um they paid for the funeral expenses or whatever it is that they're crowdfunding for this dude doesn't have to post a picture of him um flying to miami or a picture of the ticket of him going to miami it's a really sketchy thing and i mean again if it's really hard with businesses it has to be even harder for to for personal people but a sob story will get you a lot of times more times than not we will fall for a some you know a story that tugs at our sympathies you know what i mean and it's really a like crazy new hustle i again not trying to be cynical but the reality is it is a new form of hustling people for money i mean people did it before they had the internet people would tell you a sob story to get money out of you then now think about how easy it is so with that said, I need to know how you guys feel on crowdfunding. Now, just to sum up my feelings, it's a gamble. It's something that I don't necessarily see myself investing in, investing in anytime soon. Um, would I ever do a crowdfunding thing for myself? Um, I don't have any like real projects. Or anything like that I do YouTube and yes it would be nice if people actually helped me out with this financially if I wanted to get some new equipment things like that but at the end of the day I just gotta grind for it I don't necessarily feel comfortable asking people to donate that's just not me you know it, it's maybe if I were you know a bigger youtuber and I had something that I knew was about to happen like I wanted to generate a show or something like that if i was doing a like legit show then yeah i might do it for that but um unless it's a huge project i can't see myself going out and be like hey fund me i mean i've been told maybe i should make a patreon and things like that yeah, i may do it but i just don't see myself pushing it you know what i mean not not on that level i'm not trying to I don't know. It's, it's just it's just an iffy thing for me. Now, do I think it's bad when people do it? Not always. Because, again, there's some people who are legitimately looking to be helped out to finance something that they're doing. You know, they're legitimate. They have a legitimate goal. They have, you know, dedication to an idea. And they want to see this idea through. And kudos to all of them. It's just sad that you have you know all of these people who are out there just to take advantage that kind of you know it puts a it puts a black eye on this thing and it makes it makes people like me hesitant to actually want to support people on things like kickstarter and all that because again you're not guaranteed even if a person is legit about it you're still not guaranteed that that product's gonna make it to see the light of day so it's a, it's 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 an interesting thing. Um, hey, you know the old saying is a new world we live in. Definitely is. But you guys hit me up and let me know what you think about crowdfunding. People making personal pages to take care of personal goals, or people who claim to have business um, ventures that don't pan out, or if you think that it's something that you shouldn't be that skeptical of because there's more legitimate claims than not. Just weigh in on your thoughts completely on the whole crowdfunding thing. Anyway, as always, 
hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Magazine. I'm out. Deuces.